Which way do we go? We can. Oh. Like, where are you going? So, TA hiker don't know where they're going. So it's day 10 of Tiara. A couple of highlights with this morning's toilet. Firstly, you'll see it's a um, flushing toilet at Rock's Hut. We've got a really cool view. So that's the view from the Rock's Hut toilet. Anyway, so it's day 10 of the Tiara. We're just a fairly short day, 14 k's through to Hackett Hut, where Steve and Judy from Jester House are coming out, and they're going to have a bit of a resupply. We're going to have a wine and a beer, so that'll be fabulous. We passed Browning, but um, should only be 14 k's, probably five to six hours. So um, we should be there early afternoon, and then um, head on to Starwell the next day. Pre-hut, see what we've left behind. Got your poles clear? Yep. <laughs> Catch you later. See ya. See ya. So yeah, we're just leaving Rock's Hut. Pretty mint day. It's supposed to rain a bit later, but um, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys, okay, Alright, yep, have fun. Yeah, we might see you. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, I'll go to Hackett, have lunch there, and then probably go up to Sabu. Oh, yeah. See you later today. Oh, well, good luck. Yeah, good luck. We may, we may not see you all. Can't wait to hear I'll how it goes. Lunch at Hackett, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which way do we go? We can. Like, where are you going? So, TA hiker don't know where they're going. Yep. Claire's a bit got sore knees, so it's a bit. It's always a slow start in the morning till the old bodies warm up. So we've got a bit of. We're sort of on the mineral belt on the sides of it. So it's a bit of stunted bush, and uh, it's really pretty. Got the dracophyllums and lots of other plant names that I don't know at all. So it was supposed to be a bit shitty today, but at the moment it's a fabulous blue sky and no wind, so we'll make the most of it. Bit of a rock here that's just sticking out of the ground, quite cool. There's quite a few of them obviously. That's probably why it's called Rock's Hut, but... Yeah. It's just a privilege to be out here and this sort of stuff, it's nice. Yeah, living the dream, Walk, walking a moss-lined, bushy track with Claire, of course, my little sweetie. A mighty, a mighty storm. These must be hundreds of years old. The root bases are huge and like everywhere. One, two, three, four. It's like just dozens of humongous trees that have um, succumbed to something. Maybe there was a cyclone that went through here. Dozens of trees. So we've come across this area here and it's just like carnage with uh, just trees down everywhere. It's obviously a massive storms, storms been through. But the other thing's a bit of a pity to see. There's lots of, if you look up there, there's lots of dead standing trees. Um, I don't know if I'm getting it properly, but where the tops have been eaten out by possums and things. So possibly, possibly the trees have been weakened by the possums. And then we've had a big storm come through and um, 
and done this but yeah it's just a we're almost it's almost like a skid site but uh, it's not but anyway what it has done is provided Claire a lovely seat to sit on and we might just um, stop here for a minute because the uh, the view is superb and what I was saying about the dead trees that the possums have been into you can see there's quite a bit of they've been eaten out so they've probably been weakened and then there's been a big storm and we've ended up with this bit of a mess anyway here's Claire doing her stretches she's got quite sore knees so we gave her a bit of Voltaren this morning yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. We'll be able to get you a walker. What are that? What do they call them? Walkers. Oh, walkers. A walker or um, an electric wheelchair. Yeah. That'd be you. You'd look good in one of those. Mount Richmond is there. Yep. And then we are going. We're going, well, we're going up into the ranges in the back there, I think. Okay. So, we think. Yeah, we think. We don't know where we're going, actually. We're just making it up as we go along. Yeah. We're about, we're about a thousand metres altitude here, just over. Just over a thousand. And we're going to, Claire will show you over the ridge, hopefully, at the Nelson Plains and everything in a minute. And then now we have to drop down to about 250 metres altitude. Hold on. And then tomorrow climb a thousand metres again up to Mount Starboard. So, but anyway, that's um, onwards and upwards. It'll be good. So, good glimpse of the Waimea Plains and, well, a glimpse over there. I think you can see the doubles over there, maybe Mount Arthur. We're um, just coming out of the beech forest. I just love this stuff, but this is going to be a really good example of the, the mineral belt. So we've just come out of the beech forest there, and then if I spin this way, it's just totally a different scene. So that's that way, and we've got bush that way. So that's all this, all these minerals, and the, the, the large forest can't grow on it. It's like coming out onto an alpine top at not that higher altitude. But this belt runs right through, right through the ranges up here. Um, and it's really a, quite an extraordinary landscape. Anyway, you can walk with me for a bit and uh, we'll show you the Nelson side. And um, you can see what it's like. quite nice up here too, we've got uh, good panoramic views of Tasman Bay and then over that way more uh, we've got um, we've got uh, sort of Tasman and Mott area over that way but yeah just, just what a stark contrast there to the bush back there. And in the early days, a lot of these areas were mined, as I mentioned before, for tin and copper and iron and stuff. So. Certainly a lot of easier walking than where we've been. Some mountain bikers came through, just been through, they were up at um, Rock's Hut. I enjoy my mountain biking, but I'm quite into it, but uh, there's a pretty solid hiker bike through there, which wouldn't have been much fun, so hopefully their little stretch of goodness is uh, long enough to make it all worthwhile.
mineral belt, but it's just a, a belt that cuts straight through in one swathe, and then you can see where it ends again, and uh, the, um, the bush starts. I can see some other hikers in the distance enjoying the view, trampers I should say. Just coming into a Browning Hut, and then a short stint to the Hackett, which hopefully is a bit more mellow than the other bit. Photos is a waste of time. So this is our resupply. Oh, <laughs> you can organise it next time. And we've got a thousand metre vertical ascent tomorrow. So I think some rationalisation <laughs> might need to go. I love it, the bottle of wine. <laughs> well that was a bit of a tough day. Um, down from Rock's Hut to Hackett Hut via Browning Hut. I don't know whether we got the timing wrong or what, but my knees have been really sore. It was a big descent, I don't know, 600, 700 metres. But we arrived to our fabulous friend Steve and Judy, who have brought a supply box in to us at Hackett. And we've just finished enjoying a beautiful meal of beetroot and, oh, it's hard to explain, beetroot and lentils with halloumi and uh, it was delicious. Followed by brownies and strawberries. So I can't complain, but um, and lovely to hear from them because they did the TA a couple of years ago and they could talk us through this next section, which the ranges are, are going to be tough. But it was just nice to talk to somebody around our own age that has done it before and how they handled it and what they suggest. So I'm just sitting in the hut on my own at the moment. I'm about to go to bed because I'm absolutely naked. I was so slow today and just one of those days that you get really down wondering whether you can't handle it and yeah but anyhow Michelle has left us today sadly um, she's decided to go to Nelson and uh, just reevaluate what she's going to be doing in the future with the trip but we'll see her further down the way I'm sure I'm looking at this and I look about 105 my bags under my eyes but we have done 150 k's in just over a week and it's been all hills um, I think we've ascended around 7,000 metres at this stage and descended pretty much the same because uh, we're only at 300 at the moment but it's all been pretty hilly there's been quite different to the North Island um, less hard on your feet um, but yeah more hard on your knees and hips yeah and your cardiovascular but we're getting fitter but with a good meal tonight and a nice bottle of wine we can't complain really, we've been pretty spoiled. So this is the hut, cute little place. We've got a tent up outside because I love my little haven at the end of the day. We'll listen to the brook and um, yeah, check in with you again tomorrow. And I've just realised I've done this all in portrait, which I get really cross with Kev when he does that because it's hard to edit. So can't growl at him for this one because this was me in a tired space. Anyhow, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, make the most of today, tonight, tomorrow and all the time you've got. Make sure you're happy in what you're doing and find something you're passionate about and make it work for you.